what up guys this is the ghost of ernie stotner here coming at y'all with the live stream um yeah the steelers just days after after that emotional win over the ravens um they come they come into minnesota and they shit the bed they shit the bed tonight laid an egg and we take an l to the vikings the way i see it um that's what happens when when you do not play all four quarters of football and you gotta dig through a hole or try to dig through a hole and you only play your best football in the fourth quarter then you're not always going to win. You know, I've said it over and over and over and over and over and over again. You got to play all four quarters. And obviously, the Steelers did not learn. And they did the same shit. They did the same shit. First three quarters, complete trash. Fourth quarter, they come on to play about too little, too late. We were already down 29 to nothing. And the largest court comeback in NFL history in the regular season was was in 1980 when the when the 49ers came back came back against um, the Saints in 1980. They were down 28 to nothing that day. So there would have been a record had we pulled it off, but we should not have been in this position to begin with. A lot of things could be said and why we lost. Um, Chase Claypool, um, the dude is a fucking clown. Yeah, he had some good catches late in the game, but towards the beginning, though, with the fucking... He, he got lucky off of that fumble. I honestly thought it was going to be a fumble, and they overturned that surprisingly. And then him doing his, his fucking antics and all that. Like, grow the fuck up, Claypool. And then that three and out we had early in the game was ba strictly based on him in that third down play when Najee Harris had nowhere to run because he didn't block because fucking Chase Claypool didn't do his job in blocking whoever that was that got Najee. So Chase Claypool, you're a fucking clown. Go fuck yourself. Um, you're a fucking clown, dude. You just you you you're just like heading the route that fucking A. B. Antonio Brown and even Juju Smith Schuster. Like, it was fucking ridiculous, man. Like, Dalvin Cook, man, I thought it was he, I thought it was going to be out for this game, but he decided, oh, no, nah, I think I'm going to play. Even He just wore a fucking harness, suited up, and he played. And he played. And, and this motherfucker, oh, first time special. Oh, man, that motherfucker ran through us, man. Man, our defense could not step a motherfucking nosebleed in the first time, especially, man. Dalvin Cook was just running all over us. Then you have Justin Jefferson also with that touchdown. Like, also being left wide of the fuck open, knowing that they're the best receiver they have right now, even especially with Adam Thielen out for this game. And you leave this motherfucker wide of the fuck open. Wide of the fuck open, man. Fucking atrocious. Atrocious. First half, man. This is what happens you, you when you wait till the fourth quarter. To play your best football. This is what can happen. You won't have enough time to to win. To come back and win the motherfucking game. Like. And I don't want to hear the fucking excuses either. Oh. Well TJ Wood's been ruled out with the groin injury and all that shit. I don't want to hear the excuses man. I don't want to hear the fucking excuses. Then you have Ben Roethlisberger. Fucking getting. Especially in the first time. Ben Roethlisberger getting sacked getting hit left and right because the offensive line could not block for shit, leaving defenders wide open, unmarked, untouched, you know, not blocking and shit, not protecting Ben, and he takes all these nasty hits, especially in that first half. And that's all because of the offensive line, not blocking and shit, not blocking, fucking leaving the motherfucker right, wide open, clear path for him to get to Ben. Like, what the fuck, man? And then fourth quarter comes. We play our best football. 
you know, Najee Harris scored the first two touchdowns, and then um, and then there was that touchdown that Pat oh for then it was that touchdown pass to James Washington thanks to an thanks to an interception by Witherspoon. You know that, that led to a James Washington touchdown, and then after that, um, I believe Kirk Cousins threw another pick again to Witherspoon. Um, Pat Frymuth scores, and we. Oh, oh, here's another thing I don't agree with. After that, um, after that third touchdown went, do we scored to James Washington? I would have kicked the extra point and then after that go for the two point conversion, not go for two right there. I mean, there's where we fucked up too. We should we didn't we should enough went for two just yet. We should just kick the extra point, then go for two afterwards when we scored again. But that didn't matter because after that, Kirk Cousins, 62 yard touchdown pass to KJ to KJ Osborne. From right there, man, that's where the game was set right there. When Kirk Cousins, who did absolutely nothing that second half with two interceptions to Witherspoon, but that one pass he has, he, I think he only had two passes, completed passes, I believe, the whole second half. But, oh, but one of them was a 62-yard touchdown pass to fucking K.J. Osborne. Wide the fuck open. Cameron Sutton. Fuck, and, yeah. I knew right there that the game was fucking over right there. I knew. I was like, yep, that's the game. And we had pretty much dug ourselves a big hole right there. And it was too little too late. Um, the clock management was bad. We used up all three of our timeouts. Um, you got motherfuckers. Um, you got motherfuckers over here celebrating with the first down catches and all that. When you had to fucking hurry the fuck up because you had no no timeouts under two minutes and shit like that, like that that right there was horrible clock management by Mike Tomlin. And then, um, you know, towards the end there, it came down to the last play. Of course, we had no other choice but to go for the touchdown. Um, Big Ben, beautiful pass, Pat Frymuth, um. He he had it, but just couldn't hand out to it. I believe it was, I believe it was Harrison Smith. Who, by the way, Harrison Smith, man, he's he's underrated in my opinion. I think the dude's a stud. Um, man, that that dude's a stud. But um, I believe it was it was Harrison Smith who knocked who knocked the ball out of Firemuth's hands. Firemuth um just couldn't hand out to it, man. But that would have been. Had the ball right there. I mean, I ain't gonna be hard on, too hard on Frymuth because the dude's a rookie. But man, gotta be able to find a way to hang on to that ball. You know, knowing that you're gonna get hit and all that. But but it don't really matter because at the end of the day, man, we shouldn't have been in this position to begin with. Horrible clock management, going for two at the wrong time, and not, and most of all. Waiting until the fourth quarter to play your best football. Too little, too late. And there's a situation where you wait till the fourth quarter and it, you come up just short. Especially against a team that is that has been known for choking leads away, having heartbreak losses and all that bullshit, man. Awful, man. Fucking awful. Um you know, this team never learns. Um, I don't give a fuck about the comeback. It's all for not. I don't give a fuck because at the end of the day, we fucking lost. And it all goes back to the sh to the atrocious performance in the first half with the defense not being able to stop Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook running all over motherfuckers. And then you got fucking Justin Jefferson over here fucking being left wide the fuck open and all that shit. And then... And the offensive line not not being able to fucking block and allowing Ben to get sacked and take all those hits, you know, knowing that he's thirty nine years old, you know, knowing that one of those hits could be could be the end of him, especially since this is pretty much the last of Ben that we're seeing right now. You know, stupid man, fucking stupid. And then Chase Claypool's a bitch ass, bitch ass fucking. 
with this fucking antics in the first in the big first quarter there with the taunting penalty and all that. Fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here. And just like that, we dropped the six six and one. Season is pretty much in jeopardy. Um, we're gonna have to fucking win out at this point, man. We're gonna have to fucking win out at this point. So um. So yeah, um, will we make the playoffs? Probably not. I'll be shocked if we do. I'm not gonna give up on the season or anything, but we're. It ain't looking good, and it's and it sucks, man, because. Especially since this is pretty much the end of Ben Roethlisberger. Would have liked to at least see him go out, you know, on a good note. But, uh, you know, he, he, he really did try his hardest. Ben, Big Ben, I believe, really gave it his all tonight. Especially at his age. It shows that he has a little bit left in the tank. But, just too little too late. Too little, too late. Now, before I drop the link, um, first and foremost, I have been hearing rumors that former Broncos receiver Demarius Thomas has passed away at the age of 33. Now, this is this is a Steelers fan talking right here. As you all know, what I mostly know him for. What I, what I mostly know, what we mostly know him for is in the overtime game against the Broncos in 2011 in the playoffs, Tim Tebow, short pass, first play of overtime, Tim Tebow, short pass to Demarius Thomas, um, was it with Stiff Farm, um, Ike Taylor, and he runs off to the end zone, game over, Steelers season over. That's what he's mainly known for. So oh you just can't imagine how I feel about that. But, man, he was definitely a fan favorite, in my opinion, within the Broncos fan base. Um, I believe he has a he has a backstory. Like, he went through a hard beginning and all that. I think I read a, I think I read a, read a story or something. That I guess he, um, I know he said he was grateful for his mother. I think his mother served prison time or whatever. Or, or he, he wants to give back to her, something like that. But Demarius Thomas came through humble beginnings. I believe he won a Super Bowl as a Bronco in 2015. Um, you know, gave division rivals fits, and I believe he has also had a short stint with the with the Texans and I think the Patriots. I'm not sure, but I know he was with the Texans for a bit. And I believe he was a Patriot, but uh, but now rumors are going around that the that he has been found dead at the age of 33. I hope that ain't true, man. I really hope those are fucking false. That the rumors are fake. And that this is all just one big joke. And he is still alive and well. I really hope it ain't true. But looking at this comment right here. Nah, come on. Nah, nah. Please tell me that's fake, man. Please tell me that shit's fake. But, um. It sucks, man. If it is true, then, hey, rest in peace, Demarius Thomas. And, um, you know, condolences to the family and to the Denver Bronco fans out there. Just can't imagine how guys like Savage Sev, Corwin, Lady Sev, Mile High probably feel right now. So, there's quite a few Bronco fans that I know on here, man. Just can imagine how what they feel right now, but um, I hope it ain't true. But damn, thirty people watching. Yeah, I'm sure 
they all expected me to fucking yell and rant about it. I already did all that off camera. I'm not going to look like a fucking idiot yelling and shit unnecessarily. Yeah, it's the same shit, man. Wait till the fourth quarter to play your best football, and it's too little too late. You know, a lot of there, there's a lot of things to look back on on why we lost this game, but I think what really what really put the nail in the coffin, in my opinion, was that Kirk Cousins' 62-yard touchdown pass to Osborne. That was what really sealed the deal right there, man. That's, a, that's their best receiver right now. Deontay Johnson, you know, he had some good catches, but like I said, too little too late. But I will say Deontay Johnson is our best receiver right now. I think, and yeah, you can get out of here. We don't do that. Over, we don't dox over here. But damn, Demarius Thomas, man. I really hope it ain't it ain't true. But um, uh. Oh. Damn, man. Let me... Let me... Drop the link. Anybody wants to come in? I don't think I'll be here too long. Last Jedi in the house. Sorry I didn't address you earlier when I saw you, but... Yeah, I, man, I I hope it ain't true, man. I'm still going to say they're just rumors, but apparently there are more reports coming out that, that he is indeed dead. It sucks, man. Such a young age, only, only fucking um, 33 years old. Can somebody get rid of that? And can somebody fucking hide that account, please? Hide it. Is that you, Lady Steel? Oh, okay, it is. What's up? What's up? Um, pathetic. Yeah, it's just shit. You wait this till the fourth exactly, quarter. This is exactly what happens when you don't play all four quarters the first half was absolutely abysmal we're getting gashed and thrashed by delvin cook then you get chase claypool's bitch ass with the with the stupid ass fucking antics too then we got chase claypool being an emotional man, <laughs> man fuck chase claypool man fuck him right dude's a fucking clown Motherfucking clown. Absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. Yeah, it's a little too late. And I think what really, you may disagree or may agree, but I think what really sealed it was when we, was that long touchdown pass to, to Osborne. Oh, yeah. And that Yeah, I was like, damn. Like, I'm we're like, so close to. And also, people are also underestimating that, uh, Missed field goal by freaking Boswell. Oh yeah, in the first in the first quarter. Yeah, there's a lot of things, man. Is that you, Yins? Okay, it is him. Crazy. Oh, and I just do, and I and I do want to let everyone know that uh, damn, my voice is cracking. I need some damn water. <coughs> that my uh, upcoming video of. The review of the game will be my last video of the season as I have to do take time to focus on my health because of stuff that's going on. Oh, I hope it's I hope it's nothing serious and um you know just focus on real life, you know. That comes first, health comes first. I know you've gone through a lot of <laughs> a lot of shit the past few years and um just hope everything goes well and be positive. Try to stay positive. And we'll yeah. be here. 
we'll be here whenever you decide to come back. Yeah, I'll um what will happen is is I won't do videos consistently, but what will happen is I'll I would maybe do like a 20 minute live stream every like two weeks. But as far as making videos uh every week, it's just you know that won't happen. I gotta take time to I ra I'd rather you know announce it on you know a live stream where everyone can watch me rather than just make a video about it. You know, but yeah, I have to take some time to focus because my treat there's some big things going on with my treatment and everything like that. It good, good positive, positive things. However, I'm gonna be a busy woman because of it. <laughs> Hey, like I say, just Everybody focus on that. Cool. Forget the internet and all that. Just focus on real life and 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 take my advice or listen to what I gotta say. It'll be such a good, great feeling being off the internet, not knowing anything that goes on over here, especially with a lot of the negativity. So, trust me, that was me the past few weeks. And um, you know, just take the time, be off the internet, focus on your health family as well you know and trust me it'll be worth it and i i think it's something i think we all should do at some point but like i said get well soon stay positive and we'll be here whenever you are able to come back we'll still oh, be yeah, here for sure i and i'll also you know i'll watch a little bit of it you know i'll watch a little bit of live stream say hey but as far as like participating all the time it's just going yeah yeah like i gotta say you know i just want to i do want better to be that. off the internet <laughs> sometimes do you want to roast me right now brandon that's all i know lady I, I i don't know what to say that's i couldn't imagine going through that that's unimaginable and i can all i could do is just pray for you and i think everybody just needs to say their prayers for lady still and yeah, everybody in the comments section right now, for Lady Steel, everybody in the comments right now. Yeah, I like trust me, I'll be okay. I'll just be a busy woman. <laughs> uh, do what you need to do. We'll still be here, but health comes first. Absolutely, for absolutely. sure. Health first. Family first. She'll still be wrapping in black and gold no matter what. So oh, yeah. You know that for facts. You know, so it's, it's, you know ladies. On YouTube, not on YouTube. It doesn't matter. So. Yeah, it's always black and gold for life. And you, and she knows she'll always have a platform over here. She's got a spot over here always. Facts. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Uh, there you go. Appreciate everybody with the prayers. Unknown Jedi, Ash Raider, Jerry, everybody watching this. Yeah, it, it's been something I've been thinking about, you know, all season. But, you know, however, it's just like, ugh. But I think you, I, 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 uh, it means a lot to me, guys. It really means a lot to me. Go Steelers. <laughs> uh, black and gold for life. And, um, and look at the jersey I was repping tonight. Hey. This is a rare one that I'm wearing. Um, back from the 60s, Bobby Lane, the guy who single-handedly cursed the Lions and to why they're still garbage to this day. But Yeah. Decided to wear the jersey tonight for the first time. Thought I would maybe, maybe bring us luck but obviously it didn't it was all false false hope you know you know and Ben Roethlisberger I really feel like he played his heart out tonight to win the game you know and then the offensive line especially in the first half that couldn't block I kept allowing him to get a hit you know that's another he issue got we destroyed. have he got destroyed yeah, well, in this game but they played with what they played with Tart, and uh, they didn't. I mean, that game was insane. I mean, it was a touchdown, and he dropped it. I mean, what can you do? I mean, they did all they could do. I think Tomlin made good adjustments in the first half, but you saying it earlier, like 
they don't they start off slow. They need to be consistent all four quarters. We haven't really seen that yet. You know, are we gonna see it at all this season? Since last season. <clears throat> What's going on, Corwin? But they play good. I don't think the season's over yet, but it's every game is a must I ain't giving win up. I ain't giving up, but uh, we got to win out at this point, dude. <laughs> Pretty much. We got to fucking win out. Pretty much. At least three out of four, and that'll be a miracle if we win three out of four and get in. We got Cleveland, Baltimore, Tennessee, and Kansas City. So we oh, can't control the, the destiny. Those are all teams like yeah. right there with us. Oh, by the way, I see a couple Bronco fans in the comments. Um, hey, I hope the rumors ain't true, but if they are, um, condolences to you guys. I'm, I'm sure he was a fan favorite for Bronco fans. Of course, I mostly know him for that overtime game. Tim Tebow passed to Thomas um, and just runs it all the way to the end zone. It's unfortunately. Wait, it's why'd, you, it is why'd you time him out? Why'd you time out mile high? Okay, guys, don't time out. Only time out or hide if they're doxing spamming or being racist on that don't time them out hey guys look it's true nah are you serious let me full screen that i'll look up hold on i'll show you <sighs> for us. uh tmz Fuck. tmz Such announced it such a young fucking age, man. No. No. And this is a fucking Steeler fan, man. Why? Such a young age. That's sad. No, no, no. Yes, no, that's no. Very sad. That this is, is not good. Bronco fans, condolences. Sorry for your loss. Yeah, I'm shout sure out he was a Bronco fan friends. favorite. Yeah, Corwin, Savage Sev, Lady Sev, Mile High. I know there's a few other ones that um, Bronc Nuts is another one. Um, who else? I'm not missing a few more. Miles had one. one. Oh yeah, that's another one because there's quite a. Sorry, oh, what's that? Time. What's that new guy's name that came in this year? Uh, Ghost. Oh yeah, Bronco fans, sorry about your loss. It's not good. I was really hoping that there were faults. Uh, who's that backstage? Hold on, let me put the. Let me put this. All right, who's this? Fuck you, Yens. Oh, KPG. KPG. What's up, KPG? RIP the Mary. What do you guys think about the Browns and the uh, the Browns and the Ravens? Who do you think is going to win that game? I think the Browns could win that game and at least help us out and keep this division at least up for grabs. Yeah, but it's the fucking the Browns, Ravens. dude. I can't. You can't trust the motherfuckers. Baker me if it was a bum. The Browns are being disappointments just like I expected it to do. I'll be shocked if they. It's going to be a good no. game, man. Uh, let me I think it's going to be game. another sloppy game. Well, Mark because the Ravens aren't that good. Yeah. And the they still won because of fucking. Bang. That one could be a toss up. So, yeah, Niner Empire, help us out. I need a Niner Empire this week. <laughs> hey, I got love Whoa. for Niner fans so on here for the most part. Hey, bro, it ain't easy losing people, dude. I'm telling you. That, that shit was harsh. 
Did you hear anything about TJ? What's up with him? Did you? Is... Oh, he. Uh, Who's this backstage? Who the fuck is this backstage? Infinity. Hi, I'm a pair of lips. Is that? Oh, I know who this is. I know who this is. Hey man, hey man, would you get me a wall fish for Christmas? What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> this guy's funny. This dude. Would you? Would you? What do you got there? What do you got I'm there, man? Kidding, dude. What are you doing? What do you got there? He's funny. Are you gonna help me get a wallfish? A who? What the man? It's really important for me to receive What's a wallfish as a Christmas gift. Yeah. What do you want for Christmas? <laughs> a wallfish. All right, I'll get you one. Word. But yeah, that game was absolutely crazy. It was an amazing game. Crazy. I went down to the wire. I can't, I can't believe you dropped that ball. I mean, it was a tough catch. It was a tough throw. I mean. Chase Claypool is soft as fuck, dude. I think he's, Man, he's, fuck he's, him. Dude's a plus clown. dumb stuff. Like, like he's, he's so much of a, like an emotional type of player. He he he's like he act like he I don't know like he acts like a, a, a crabby. Feelings you know, like get to him. He gets so many penalties tonight too on offense. Just false start and just stupid. Some of his dumb penalties, it's just penalties and just dumps this shit. Y'all would have, dude. I feel like y'all would have won this fucking game even if y'all were down. I can't believe Cook was injured. He, they said he was supposed to be out like the beginning of the week, and then he played, and he just ran all over us. We couldn't yeah, stop nothing. Yeah, motherfucker was running all over us and shit. How many I yards think did he have? A lot better at the nose tackle position. We had Montrevious, um, Montrevious Adams in there. Henry Mondi was absolutely very bad. Yeah, exactly. Um, Steeler for twenty. That's what Chase Claypool's trying to. It's a fucking clown. Dude, Jordy, you know, what is Joe? <laughs> hey, what? Like, like, majority of your wide receivers are clowns, man. They can't stay out of trouble. <laughs> no, the one that I fuck with though is Deontay Johnson. Him, he's been our top receiver. I feel like he could be a number one receiver, I, I believe, it is Deontay Johnson. I know it was a little harsh on him last year, but this year he's been – he showed that he's been improving, and I think he only dropped, like, what, two passes this year so far? So i actually starting to like Deontay Johnson, believe it or not. I think he could be a solid number one receiver for us. Obviously, it'll be a different quarterback after this year. With him. Shit. I've been hearing rumors about this Kenny Pickett guy from out of Pittsburgh that maybe we should draft or should we go for a veteran? What do y'all think? Oh, Kenny Pickett, he's good. But also been hearing that the that the draft class ain't good though. The quarterback draft class ain't good, and then maybe we should wait and maybe try to get a veteran for for the short term. Yeah, the yeah the QB class is rather weak. Yep. Um, outside of Kenny Pickett, Matt Corral, um, that I really don't want anyone outside of those two guys. Hey, are you guys are you guys gonna draft Peyton Manning again? What the, what the fuck? fuck? We sure yeah, are. Maybe if, maybe we yeah, maybe if we could go <laughs> back in time, go through a fucking time machine <laughs> and draft a motherfucker or maybe get him in his prime. Yeah. Randall Cobb is out with an injury. Wow. Wait, who are you guys playing this week? The Bears and please don't jinx oh. it. Come on, dude. That's a fucking blowout, dude. 
But don't no jinx way. it. No, I don't want. I don't want you jinxing it. Dude. It's the fucking bears, dude. It's the fucking bears. They got <laughs> Fields back though. No, not Jim G. Nah, Jim. I think that nah, Jimmy G has shown that he ain't. He ain't a winner. Nah, I think I've seen enough. Jimmy G. Jimmy G. Starting to look like Derek Carr. I think he gets hurt all the time. Real shit, is that you? Turn your camera on real quick. Oh, that is him. That's Real Shit for one to be here. What's up, Real Shit? Hey, I thought I thought that was Bart Simpson for a sec. What? <laughs> what up, he kind of looks like Bart Simpson. Since we have four Stiller, four Stiller fans here, what do you think? Yeah, Ben said he wanted to come back for one more year on a team nah, friendly deal. Would you? No, nope, these two no, are the no, same no. guy. Absolutely, the fuck not. No, he, like you guys really. He needs to call it a career and await and await um, Canton five years to receive his gold jacket. He already aged, and that's me saying it as a non Steeler fan. Yeah, a lot of Steeler fans were blaming the offensive line, man, because uh, he got sacked a lot, and our offensive line well, tonight, good. yeah, tonight, yeah, the offensive line was fucking was fucking pathetic, fucking allowing Ben to get hit several times. Yes, tonight was on the offensive line for the most part. Well, for some of it, doesn't help when the defense can't stop fucking Dalvin Cook, and they got Justin Jefferson. Be Yo, that fucking penalty on, on Minka was fucking bullshit. In the end zone, that fucking call was was fucking bullshit. That that game that game all together was just like what the fuck. Uh, I don't want Jimmy G, Matthew. Nope. Uh, y'all can keep him. He he ain't he ain't a winner. Like I he said, ain't though, a... Jimmy G's starting to look more like Derek Carr. And what's up with Derek hey. Carr lately? Like I said, the dude is not mentally capable of winning games. The guy's just he's not mental. He does not. He's not up there mentally. Is what I'm trying to say. Kind of like Mariota. I mean, don't y'all got Mariota as a backup for Derek? I'm not. A, I'm not a Raider fan. I can't say Mariota's horrible. Mariota. Yeah, I know. You got to. I, about I was a huge Mariota fan because I was a Titans fan, and I was actually hoping that we would uh, try to keep him and. All that, but I'm really glad that we actually got rid of him and got Tannehill. And Tannehill produced, dude, his first year, and he's still producing. So I'm I'm surprised by that shit. But I mean, if I'm not mistaken, I think Mariota did do good his first game. But then, I mean, the guy just saw it far and apart with these injuries and shit. Yeah. Hey, Minnesota, yeah. want to tap the link? Somebody was looking for you the other night over here. And he date he did he did took uh he did took the times to the playoffs but and beat the fucking queefs, but that's it. Is that real shit? Why is the screen anyway, wow? Guys, it I'm is him, wild. it is him. I'm about to dip. Yeah, no. my phone's calling oh, the night. Good night. What up? Oh, good night, right, ladies. Ladies. Well, yeah, I'll oh, see you right. guys soon. I'll see you guys soon. Yeah. All right, take it easy, ladies steel. Stay down. All right, All right ladies, do. I see. It. Might be the season might be over, everyone. I really yes. I, I'm I don't gonna think give up just over. yet. Just what you talking about, bro? Like, how? Do I, what happened in that first half, bro? Could someone explain it to me? Why Let's see. Chase Claypool's a clown. 
Chase Claypool's a clown. Um, offense, offensive line is shit. Get allowing Ben to get sacked several times, and the defense couldn't stop, couldn't stop Delvin Cook, letting him run all over us. And we oh wait till God. the fourth he quarter. He ran for like two hundred yards. <laughs> if you cannot <laughs> let, dude, if you cannot <laughs> stop Delvin Cook, you're just fucking stupid. You're done. Like, dude, let me, let me let me let's be let's be honest right now. Why is Claypool singling first down when we're like in, in, in trying to score to tie the game? Is he singling first down? On, like, dude, that was what are we time. doing? No dude? timeout. <laughs> no timeouts left, and he's doing that. And he's shit. over there going first down, dude, with like thirty seconds left. Like, he's a clown. Why are you, bl- why are you blushing in your profile pic? <laughs> Listen, you're not even a Steeler fan. You shouldn't even be allowed in here right now, faggot. You look like run down fucking Kurt Cobain, bitch. I'm not here to talk to you right now. There's a guy that you were looking for the other night. Yeah, Minnie, come on, tap the link. (laughs) Hey, man. Hey, man. I don't even have hair. The only thing I do give my team credit for is the fact that they were down 29 0. Look at you. Look at the fuck you. Look at you. We got a special guest. Got a special guest here. I'm not not here here to run down goddamn Kurt Cobain. Here we go. I'm not not here to rub it in. It was a great great comeback by y'all, but but, uh, are you still wearing that same white tee, Tommy Hilfiger? You've been wearing for like seven uh, weeks straight. Demarius Thomas, that really sucks. But oh yeah, brutal. Brandon, where's your team at, Brandon? Brandon, oh, they're still fighting for a wild card. Oh, they are. Yeah. Hey, bud, that's a nice little soul patch on your head. (laughs) <laughs> what? Dude, Infinity don't even know we play his team next because that's how dumb and messed out he is. Who's Infinity? We're going to beat the Titans, no, though. That's, that's what we why, do. That's why you're that's what we do. We lose to the Minnesota wild. Vikings, that's but we beat the Titans. On the mic and your that's what we do. You know, you know Lewis, you wonder right. why I pick against the Steelers. Brandon, who you got next week? You got the Titans or the Steelers? Yeah, probably the Titans. I don't mind showing mine. <laughs> You, you, you wonder why I pick against the Steelers. Run down Kurt this. Cobain in the building. You can't even show your pro. You can't even show your pearly whites in your profile pic. Dude, you <laughs> like a pearl <laughs> necklace across your chest. But I you know running, that. But you're running. But you're running that loud ass mouth on the mic. So oh, I can run my mouth on the mic all hey, I want. Hey, real you sure, you wonder why it, I pussy. picked the Vikings for the, this like you know nights like this. The Vikings fucking smoked y'all. Yep, they did. They smoked us. They were up twenty nine to nothing. Okay, what was the I final mean, score? How, whoa, 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 whoa! How much did they score in the second half? A touchdown. How much did we score in the second half? Twenty eight. So who scored more? Uh, the Vikings did. They won. Yep. No, in the second half, retard. <laughs> who, who cares about the second half? You guys didn't do shit in the first half. Yep. I'm just saying, you act like they you you said they destroyed us. Do the math. They kind of did. Dalvin Cook literally went yeah, Dalvin off. Cook killed us. Yeah, of course he did, because we were just letting him run right down the middle of the field like we we're playing baseball or something. Like I don't even know. We had no safeties. We had no linebackers. There was one play where he ran for, like, what was it, like 37 yards? There was not even a linebacker yeah, lined and, up. And Lewis, there was nobody asking, lined up nowhere. And there was the nobody thing. nowhere. Here, here's the thing, Lewis. You keep asking me why I keep picking against the Steelers. That's why. Well, no, TJ. Well, I'm gonna tell you something right now. TJ Watt is gets too oh, hurt. Oh, here come the excuses. Okay. No, yep. there is no excuse when TJ Watt's getting the high pay, most money in the NFL. He needs to fucking play like it, and not get hurt, and be on the sideline every fucking game. How about that? Huh? <laughs> That's not how it works, Lewis. You're an idiot. That's not how it works. No. Right. How's your team doing? You, you can't. <laughs> there you go again. How's your team doing? <laughs> You guys only you you guys are only gonna have one more win than us on Sunday, so we're doing. And fine. we beat you, we beat you too. Also, yeah, with Geno Smith, and it took overtime. Sure. Doesn't matter, we still beat you. You're right, you, you did, but it took overtime, and we had Geno Smith. So and more props. And who'd to you us have? Who? Whenever we went to that end of that game, who'd you have winning? The Seahawks or the Steelers? Of course, I'm gonna pick my team. You retard. When did you not have? Not the Steelers winning. When? When? You always have the Steelers losing. When do you not have us I, not I losing? I told you. I picked you guys against Chicago, uh, the Broncos, the Lions. Uh, who else you guys play? I, mean, I don't even remember who you guys have played. But I picked you guys in more games than you think. But, you know, what, when, you go down, when you wow, go down three. 29 to nothing, it's hard to pick y'all. So, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that would have been the biggest win in NFL history, to be down by 29 nothing and come back and win. The biggest one before that was 28. We almost did do that. Yeah, you're right. If Friar Muth learned how to catch the ball, 
instead of getting, you know, I mean, it's not, you know, whatever. It, oh, it, dude, that, just, that's a tough catch. The, two safeties running in on him. That, that's what is it? What is, look at this crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> nice overalls. Hey, real I got shit. My bibs on. These are bibs, <laughs> man. Billy. Billy. Billy, what happened to your 49ers, man? Uh, the 49ers are actually in a playoff spot, unlike y'all. Yep. Oh, they are? What are they going to do this year? Probably not a lot. Okay. So I'm glad we got that established. Hey, but what are the Steelers going to do if they get to the playoffs? Yeah, I'll probably. You know, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Not a lot. We're done. We ain't doing no, shit if we make it. I think we can maybe win one uh, game. Well, you got a mustache. Who does? What? Hey, you got a He's smoking have that. You been drinking, have you been drinking chocolate milk? Who, me? <laughs> we play hey. Tennessee next. Hey, bro, you better wipe your chocolate mustache. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, Demarius Thomas, so that really sucks. Fuck. Yeah, I hate to hear that shit, man. <laughs> Billy Badass, get up here. <laughs> Demarius Thomas, what? What's he, up? he died. He died. Really? Yeah, they, they they play they play the Titans in Heinz Field. Oh, real shit. Are you going to that game? No, I didn't even. Are you serious? What was it? He died. Yeah, you yeah, didn't hear. Room. Are you on social media at all? There's no, I don't rumors. sit there on my phone all day long. I was watching the Steeler game. When did he die? He died during yeah, the game. Luke. Or yeah, yeah well, then I didn't game. see it. I didn't. I, I watched the Steeler game. I'm not fucking. Well, everybody I'm, else heard about it. You retard. Okay, how did he die? Um, uh, the, it's unknown. Uh, unknown. For now. Uh, according to Ash Schrader, they found him dead in his home. They just probably found him like dead. A, probably like a probably a drug overdose or something. I don't know. Holy crap, bro! Or, uh, oh, here's here's the report right here. ESPN said, I, I, I'm, I, I would guess oh, a drug man. overdose, but I don't know. It could be a stroke. It could be a. I mean, terrible, I mean, bro. could be I a heart attack. Mind. I don't know. My uncle did die on, did die in his sleep. Didn't Let's he see. just retire? I think he did, he didn't he? Yeah, I, I thought think he played five. for the Jets. BT died too in his sleep. Bro, that's awful, bro. Yep. Real shit, dude. I look so much better than you. Holy crap. Dude, you look like fucking Andy Griffin. Damn. Yeah, I still get more bitches than you. Why are you mad, Louis? Oh, Man. here's the confirmation. You have your dog chained to the fucking... You got confirmation? There it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 33. Oh, I knew he was young. Damn. That's, that's a little bit older than you, Louis. No shit, Sherlock. Damn. <laughs> Lois, you're mad all the time, dude. Chill. Yeah, I, I I make Lewis mad every day. No, Brandon's just generally mad because his dog's chained to the fucking chair the downstairs. The dog's not down here. here. By a cement block. His cat's chained upstairs to his bed. And he's never even seen pussy in his life. And he's about to be a senior in college. Uh, the, just, cat, uh, the cat's upstairs eating right now. Real men, dude. Uh, real men don't uh don't talk. Oh, real, to men, real men, real men feed cats. Real men own pets, Lewis. You don't own a pet. <laughs> real men feed. Fer- Lewis real don't own no real pets. Men, real men feed feral cats. You know Jordan's dog is malnourished. Is that what you just said, dude? But Jordan is also malnourished. I got a no, I, right I, I think it. I think it is Billy because Billy types in all caps all the time. So I don't know. Maybe yeah. Nuzdar's too. I mean Billy. Nuzdar's not smart enough to realize that. Hi Nuz, if it's you. <laughs> yeah, Billy I'm gonna Cameron check. Mods. Billy I'm Cameron gonna check my mods Cameron. right now to see. So real I shit. I picked the Vikings tonight. It worked out pretty well, actually. So did I. That's good. Did you get some pussy tonight? No. Did you? 
No, I actually I didn't. But I guarantee I've gotten more in my life than you ever will ever no, see. No, you're, you're a 31 year old virgin dating a 60 year old dude. Look at you. You look like a fucking. You look like Mary Poppins. Hey man, hey, man. about to fly, you, fly you, away on your fucking umbrella. Hey man, you Mary Poppins. Good, That's the dumbest. Oh my god, that real man, wow. dude. You, you call yourself in the TTC with that trash talk? Holy shit. Shirley Temple looking bitch ass. You want to turn that camera on, Lewis? You ain't shit, bitch. What you wearing, a maroon tank top? I've got I'm a most a Steeler bed. gear. On Sunday, I'll be wearing my Carolina Panthers gear. <laughs> How are them Seahawks doing? Seahawks are fine. They're going to beat Houston this week. Oof. Bro. It is in Houston, though. So, we'll How see. are you and that Susan Monday bitch doing? The one with the hairy ass. I, I have no idea who that is. That's your girlfriend, remember? You and her started licking each other's butt fart I, boxes. Who, I, I don't know anybody named Susan in this community, retard. Well, she said that she licked your fart box first. And who, you licked who, the second, what, so. who, who is Susan? Is she your imaginary friend? No, she's in there. She said it. You don't remember her saying in there that she licked your fart box? Who is she? Where is she from? Oh, my God. Where is she from, Lewis? She wants to tongue touch your ball sack, she said, too. Oh, remember? Shut the hell up, Dolphin Nation. You're an idiot. God. What a fucking dumbass. TTC, Dolphin Nation here. I'm an idiot, video. too, dude. Shut the fuck up. Hey, I'm an idiot, too. TTC, Dolphin Nation. Dude, you look like what Marty McFly. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, that ain't the real Billy Badass. This is real shit, 412. Because I haven't modded. I have the real yeah. Billy Badass What's modded. What's up, everybody? This is real shit. Four one two here. Coming oh, back no. at you with my Tennessee Titans hate week. Um, you know, there's no hate involved. It's just an uh, analysis video. This is real shit. Four one two here, and I'm out. Why do you look like Marty McFly, bro? Huh? He looks like Marty he looks like he's about ready to fly a plane. Barbara needs a diaper <laughs> change. <laughs> You're saying he looks like an air pilot? Okay, that should be a. How do you, how do you feel? Oh, Lewis is dating a woman twice his age. Hey, dude, you do what you gotta do. So was I. Uh, Dolphin mission, dude. You're... I'm very proud for Brandon, though. He finally licked his first butthole, and this girl named Susan. She's a meth addict. Who is Susan? Still kills. What? <laughs> I, I don't know, dude. Susan must be Lewis's imaginary friend. I've never heard of this chick. She told me you were licking her butthole the other night. Where did she tell you? Who is she? Well, your woman now. I don't know anybody named Susan. Yeah, you do. No. Yeah, you do. And Barbara's all <laughs> from <laughs> Oh, my God. Look at this dirt ball. You Joe, Walsh, little, you Joe Walsh's Mission. little brother hey, or on. what? Hang on, real shit. Shut up. Dolphin Mission. The Seahawks beat the Dolphins last season, so shut up. You sound stupid. <laughs> God. You know what's funny? Brian Flores is going to be the next Seahawks head coach. He's going to get fired from Miami. He's going to come over to Seattle. He'll either be the you defense so? coordinator or the head coach. But shit, I'd take Brian Flores in a minute. I don't care. What the fuck? Put a shirt on, you retard. Oh, Ooh. the fuck, dude! Put a fucking shirt on, man. <laughs> yeah, you're I don't right. see that shit. What the fuck? <laughs> backstage, is what is yo, I'm, I'm, yo, backstage. <laughs> 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 shit, that was funny. Hey, was that? Dude, straight homo. Right, is, I'll be right back. is it does? Damn, burn bar calling you out. Burn bar can't tap a link, though. Ain't that something? Trust me. His favorite thing is tortilla chips. That's all I got to tell him. Tortilla chips and refried beans. That's all you got to tell him. Yeah. That's what happens That's when you live off tortilla chips like. and refried beans, you know? You've got a little Dorito nose. You got a little... You, you got a big meth nose. Hey, you sound like a little prick. You probably look down. That's what you see. What does that even mean, crackhead? It means How much crap did you smoke today? It means I've been talking crap for a sec. 
You act like you have trash talk, dude. You're like so brain dead, dude. You're like dumber than fuck. You're almost as dumb as cousin. Like you're so brain dead. I, hey man, I am pretty. It's like dumb. you sitting there huffing paint twenty four seven. I'll admit I am a I am a dunce cap. You damn right you are. Burn bar, you are him, man. Anytime you need a taco, bro, come on down to my Mexican shop. Uh, uh dude, there's a the Mexican taco? in the panel right now. Hey, yeah, can I have a taco? All right, man. Hey, I know this is a Steelers hangout, so I just came in here to troll y'all. So I'll let you be. All right. All right. Ah. Damn. Damn, hey, he's going after you for real shit. Yeah, but he will never, like, there's no reason to argue with someone who's a typer. There's just no reason for that. If you don't know that by now, Eric, you should know better than that by now. I've known Burnbar for a few years. He talks shit on anybody. Has he but ever tapped the end, a link? No. Have you ever seen a man ever tap a link? Ever. I mean, not even, even for five seconds. I mean, a bunch of people top links, even typers. I know of that top links. But has he? Never. I've, I've never, never seen, seen this. Him. No. Scott Zilla knows him in person, though. That's weird. Of all people he would know, he would know a Scott Zilla. Yeah, they hung out in Vegas. Who the hell is this Dolphinition? Your team's terrible. You're just over there chip chapping away. He's a Dolphins fan. He has tapped links before. Yep. <clears throat> Damn. So where is she? Have you battled cousin lately or what? You battle cousin today? Or are you guys homies again? Nope. Never be homies you'll with that clown we see. It. You'll never be cool with him. Mm -mm. Oh, here's a guy calling you out that you were looking for. There you go. Tell him to tap the link. Hey, last time you were on my panel, Minizilla, you were looking for him. Here he is. Yo, you got a fake troll count right there, dude. Yeah, someone hide that, please. Someone had to hide that. Man, that, dude, these people got to get alive, dude, I swear. It's one person. We all know who's doing it. I, we all know who's doing it, but I do not want to associate myself with that person. I don't. I want to stay the fuck away from that person. I don't want nothing to do with him. Yeah, well, it ain't worth mentioning that person. This ain't the place to do to talk about it. So yeah. So how how do y'all feel about an upcoming games? We got a tough tough stretch of games to close out the season. This loss hurts. This loss really stings. So gotta how the fuck are we gonna beat the Chiefs in a few weeks? Is what I'm wondering. We're not gonna beat the Chiefs. The Queefs. We're not gonna beat the Chiefs. We might, we might beat the Titans. I think we'll beat the Browns. And we might lose to the Ravens, actually. So that being nah. said, we'll be what? We'll finish what? Two and two? I can see us finishing two and two. That means we're going to need help probably to get into the playoffs. If I'm thinking about it right now, who else would be ahead of us right now? Who's all ahead of us? The Colts? The Chargers. Fucking Chargers. The, the Chiefs. The Titans. The Bengals. The Patriots. The Bengals. The Bills. And the yeah, the Bills. So I'm saying, like, we're gonna we're gonna need help. I ain't giving up on the season, but I think we're in a position though where we're gonna have to win out. We gotta find a way to beat the Chiefs somehow. Oh, I don't think we can beat the Chiefs, bro. Come on. I mean, you being for real, for real? Oh, I'm saying we gotta find a way. Are we beating them? Probably not. No, man. Be I mean, be realistic, bro. Come on. Oh, we're losing that game. I have us losing that game. I can't see us ever stopping that uh, Patrick Mahomes, especially if we don't have TJ Watt. We're fucked. Yeah, and and the offense, uh, you know, if they do what they did tonight, we're definitely losing. 
even with that shit defense that the Chiefs have. The craziest thing of it all is that fucking Melvin Ingram went to them, and now they're in fucking playoffs. Oh, my. Imagine that. Makes me sick. It reminds me of that year when James Harrison left us and went to the Patriots, remember? Yeah, but that was on us because we were the ones who cut him. We should have kept him till oh, the yeah, end. Oh yeah, and we season. got rid of what? We got rid of um Laguerre Blunt too and he went to the Patriots. I think they cut him or didn't. I think they did. I don't remember. Yeah, we cut him. We cut him because he was pissed off about not getting the ball enough times because Le'Veon Bell was getting all the all the plays. Was yep. getting all the touches. So he, he just his reminds bitch me ass Melvin Ingram, him. man. Melvin Ingram reminds me of that. We got rid of him. He didn't like we still had him, bro. We need him right now. That's the thing. You know, he was bitching about not getting enough playing time, so that's why we got him out. I'll tell you, the one dude who played great, though, was that Weatherspoon. Everybody was saying, why we pick him up and shit. He had two picks. I mean. Two interceptions. He yeah, he, he, he played good. I, I think he's okay. Not bad. Hey, hopefully he can keep it up. These I think upcoming. he's better than I, I think he's better than uh, Lane. Look at Justin Lane. We got garbage. Yeah, I ain't too high on Justin Lane. I don't, I'm not too high on Terrell Edmonds either. Oh, or, he sucks. Uh, Terrell Edmonds sucks. Terrell Edmonds sucks. What about dude. Devin Bush? What did Devin Bush do tonight? Uh, he's a bum. He's a bum. He's a bust. I already calling it. He's a bust. He's terrible, dude. He can't even make tackles. He just gets knocked on his ass pretty much every time or blown back. Yeah, I like Taco like Charlton. Let's let's go through our defense real quick. Taco Charlton, I think if he gets you know plays a little bit longer, he'll be okay. He's not like a big splash player. High Smith, he got hurt too. We forgot about that. He's a beast. Oh yeah. We got Wyatt. We got Hayward's gonna be retiring. We gotta find out about to it. That's the key piece that we're missing is to it, honestly. To it, to it, like, and then Wormley, Wormley would be good. To, a, uh, <clears throat> Wormley would be a good backup, like the spot in for to it. That's what it's hurting us because we would have a to it starting and then Wormley coming off the bench. We'd generate more pass rush. Hell. That's what I feel. We're not generating enough pass rush. It's always what, what, what. He's getting double teamed. And if you look, bro, watch, dude. He could be getting holded, held all the time and shit. No, we don't got the pirates. Shut the fuck up. Damn. Steelers aren't done yet. I'm just saying that it's like we're, we're – this is the toughest four games of the season right here. The Titans, Chiefs, Browns, and Ravens. And I believe that we play the Browns at home, the Titans at home, and we're on the road to Chiefs and Ravens. Hey, real shit. Are you going to that? Uh, are you going to a game, dude? I'm tired of hearing you say the same goddamn thing. All you idiots. I already <laughs> said. I already. I already have plans. Me and my girl and Eric and Lady Still. Well, next year, whenever they go to a game, we all can go to a game. All right. I respect that. Word of advice: <laughs> If you plan on going to a game, you gotta buy the tickets early, like as soon as the schedule comes yep. out. I'm just That's saying, why you know. get, so why do you say that? Because they'll get sold out. Yep, maybe. Yeah. everything. That's that's what I did for the most part when I go to games. Yeah, but you also went to Patriot Stadium and stuff, and you also went to SoFi, which means you're buying tickets off other, you know, home fans or, and stuff. Well, SoFi. When I went to SoFi, I did buy that a few weeks before, but the other games I went to, I bought them before. Before the season started like especially that Patriots game I bought the tickets like as soon as the schedule came out that year and then right before the season started it was when I bought tickets to Heinz Field to go to the week five game so best best thing to do is to get them before like as soon as the schedule comes out or at least before the season starts mm, yep gotta pre-plan everything yeah you went to the first game of the year, too, in New England, didn't you? Yeah, that was the opener when the Patriots blew us out that night. Yeah. And then you went to one when we played uh, New England at home, right? No, we played or the Ravens you? at home. 
So how many Heinz Field games have you been to then? Just one? Yeah, Dang. I've been to two, two games in Gillette Stadium, which both times they kicked their ass. One at Heinz Field and then one at SoFi. Zero and four record. A stadium, a stadium. Besides, well, I love to go to Lambeau Field, but a stadium I would like to visit, honestly, is Ford Field. That shit is fire. Nah, if you're a Packers fan, that should be your ultimate goal: is to go to Lambeau Field. Well, if you're For a Packers sure. fan, Packers fan be Lambeau Field and then Soldier Field. No, they got rid of Soldier Field, didn't they? Nah, they still no, play not there. But they're gonna uh they got a plan for a new stadium, the Chicago Bears. See every 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 uh we're the only one that has the we have the oldest stadium in our division, don't we? I think we do. No, isn't the Browns one older? No, the Bengals. The Bengals might be. No, the Browns is new. Yeah, but they unless came they in ninety nine. Unless they unless they renamed it. They might have renamed it though. I remember it used to be named different than what it is now. Probably, probably the same stadium that they play in when they. Came oh yeah, back I meant to ask you, Eric. SoFi is that the same stadium? So that the Rams and the Chargers both play there. Yeah, or is it just one. No, nah, they both play there. It's easy oh, to get do? lost in. It's easy to get lost in that stadium. I, I'm gonna be real. It's fucking huge. There's like five or six levels of up high. Mm-hmm. Um, they might host you know, the World Cup in that stadium too, Eric. I mean, they should. It's big enough to where they could host the finals there. And I Eric believe likes his soccer. I know Eric likes his soccer a little bit. I do. Yeah, I, too. I grew up. I grew up. I, can't I got raised soccer. to be a soccer fan, so I got raised. USA. I can only watch games. the World Cup, man, and that's it. I can't sit there and watch soccer all day long. It's just I'd rather watch anything else. Oh, I watch all these leagues in soccer: the Premier League, the Mexican League. The fuck! Don't I don't watch MLS? Though nobody cares about MLS. MLS gets boring. Yeah, but isn't MLS the best one? Nah, no. international soccer is the best, dude. Trust me. Go US to Senate Europe. Tomorrow, the, the best one is fucking Europe. Go to Europe for that shit. Damn. Or South America too. South America too. So who's be the best right. soccer team? In the, who's the best soccer team in the world? Brazil. You're talking by clubs or by countries? Country. Uh, I'm gonna say France because they won the last World Cup. France. Not, like who has the most World Cups? Brazil, but they haven't won one since 2002. Brazil. Brazil has the best uh, players in the world. One of the best. Well, historically. I remember being uh, young and playing uh, Super Nintendo games, soccer games, and Brazil was always like A+, plus, A+, plus, A+. Plus. Yeah, like, yeah. They were always so good. I was like, Ado. why is Brazil so good? Like, you never hear about Brazil, but I guess they're good in soccer. They're really Ado, good. Ado, listen here real shit. Look, <laughs> like the U.S. soccer, the U.S. men's soccer is up and coming. We got new players that are, like, hungry. I'm telling you, we're up and coming. We got the potential to become, like, an elite soccer team or elite soccer nation. Yeah, but I I don't think we we had a goalie named I think his name was like Tim Howard and it was like back in the early two thousand or something. We have not been Tim good Howard. since our, our women's team is better than our men's team at soccer. No, our men's team is better. No, our it isn't. Our women's team just went to no. the uh, cup, didn't they? I know, but listen, listen. Our our U fifteen uh men's soccer team they kicked the shit out of the women's dude. Well, yeah, of course a man could beat a woman in soccer. I'm just <laughs> saying our women's team is like they, they wouldn't. They don't, they, Eric, am I right? Didn't they take us to the World Cup? Look, just look up. Hold up, look up the Concacaf qualifications for the World Cup. They look had that goaltender right like top. Hope Solo. Hope yeah, Solo. They had that one girl. Dude, they had so many. They had that one girl with short hair that was blonde. She looked kind of like a man. She was I mean, just I I think that I don't know. Then you had the other girl Thank that was good. Me. Hey guys, what's up? How about them dolphins? Hi. What up, dolphins? Before, uh, before we before we talk about dolphins, I, I don't want to wreck this subject. I just heard World Cup, and I just had to get in. <laughs> and soccer, 
but um sorry about what happened tonight guys um what is this your share screen share oh i'm sharing i'm sharing the tape the round table right now hold on oh but oh but yeah that one are you talking about megan rapino rapino yeah megan no that's the one that looks like a man there was a the one that, that looks like that, that's you mean I yeah, I don't know. There's like three good players on that team. That's all I know. Yeah. And they want us to oh, stake. They want us to wait, cop. Oh, uh, not Rose Lavelle. Mm -mm. Okay, no, no. Okay. You That's see, not... hey, you see the table right there, real shit. We're we're uh, number two right now. Canada's number one. Yeah. No, that was that was pathetic. A Mexico lost to Canada that game. That was fucking. That's because Mexico. That's because Mexico, dude. Their talent. They got a lot of talent in the U23, U17. I don't know. Like, I think it's simply I think it's the fact that Mexico is still cashing in on their superstar team, their superstars yeah. and they're just Nah, we blow. Over. We're playing yeah, like a bunch tough. of faggots. Like a bunch of faggots just like the Steelers did in the first half tonight. That's what it was. That's mm -hmm. what it is with Mexico right now. Bunch of faggots can't stop shit. What jersey are you wearing? Bobby Lane. Well, you're gonna have to hang that up. That's a bad luck jersey. I only wore it because it's Najee Harris's number. I mean, this is the guy who, who single-handedly cursed the Lions. Just look. Ah, I can't keep. This looks like a Penguins jersey, huh? Kind of looks like a Penguins jersey. Yeah, it does. Definitely does. Dude, this you understand, Eric? We gotta deal with this for ten days. <sighs> Did you make your crow video yet? Uh, this is the crow, or well, like, then again, who should I crow to? There, there are no Viking fans on there. This is more <laughs> like a post game. This is just more like a post game stream. I don't, I don't make hate weeks every week like I used to. Anyways, what's the point of making a hate against a fan base that doesn't exist on here? Like, what's the fucking point? The Vikings, wow. I, dude, from my five years being, well, being around the TTC, I've seen no Viking fans. I don't know any Viking fans. Neither do I. Yeah, so what's the point of making a hate week on them? Out of the NFC North, the only the only, the only team Judah worthy tribe. of making a hay week was was the fucking Bears and Judah Tribe, and obviously, y'all know that stream that happened where he came in. What the you know, hell? saying how we cheated, how we cheated that night and all that, and he was basically battling all, all the Steeler fans. Going back to okay, guys, going back to that question. Okay, uh, which venue in your division is the oldest? Now, when you count oldest, are you talking about broke, uh, opened, like broke ground or something? Talking in the division. Yeah, the yeah, I'm talking about the AFC North. Yeah, AFC North. So. Well, ours opened in 2001, Heinz Field. Yeah, we're the oldest. What about weird. the Ravens? Says, well, that's weird because it says the M&T Bank Stadium opened September 6th, 1998. And then, uh, hold on for I'll do it from oldest to ours. Uh, ours opened on 1957. We're not talking about you. Damn, Sherlock, don't get mad. I'm just so, saying. I'm talking what? about the. I'm talking about the Bengals, Browns, Ravens, and Steelers. We're the oldest. I know, but I just Actually, brought that up for no reason. Get this. So the M and T Bank Stadium open where the. Ravens play opened September 6, 1998. Then um, then it's the Paul Brown Stadium, August 19, 2000. Then it's the Cleveland Browns, September 12, 1999. And then it's Heinz Field, August 2001. 18, 2001. We're actually the newest then in our division. So, But if you were to count uh, Three Rivers Stadium, I think that's where you guys used to used to play yeah in, we used to play at three rivers but travel. that that no longer exists yeah soldier field is one of the oldest and lois i'm talking outside of the afc north 
one of the oldest stadiums in the NFL. But yeah, apparently the oldest stadium in your division is MNT Bank Stadium. With fucking Ravens, Ravens in that shithole of a fucking city. <laughs> <laughs> it is a shithole. I hear they have a. I hear they have a unique fort over there. Nah, fuck that city. I've been there once. It's a fucking shithole, and then they worship a fucking murderer. <laughs> so I guess it's cool to murder people, right? <laughs> Of course. That's Baltimore, that's Baltimore mentality right there. Fuck that piece of shit fucking city. Fuck the Ravens. Fuck the logo. Fuck the jerseys. Fuck everything. Fuck the fans. Fuck everything about that piece of shit organization. Okay, okay, we get and it. You're a gay ass, gay ass, fuck, You're a gay ass fucking Ravens helmets. Fan. Gay ass fucking logo. Gay ass fucking uniforms. Gay ass fucking colors. You hate them more than the uh, fucking Bengals and the Browns? Yeah. yeah I, I hate the Ravens more than fucking Satan. <laughs> Oof. Oh, now I feel. Oh, now I feel like asking "Would you rather?" questions to him. I hate the Patriots too, though. Me I hate too. The pa- Patriots. But I don't hate them as much as I hate the Ravens. No, I agree. I hate the Ravens the most, but I hate the Patriots. Oh, are you talking about me, eh, Camel Toes? Camel Toe, you know where that link's at. Camel Toes, are you talking about me? And if I do, do I sound like Bert, Ernie, or Elmo's World? Well, I'm Tell Ernie. Tell to come up here and get smacked the fuck down. <laughs> you sound kind of feminized, uh, Dolph Mission. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he, was talking about, he was talking about Dolph Mission. Okay, so I'll go ahead and say something really funny about me. So whenever I pick up the phone and it's those random callers uh, trying to advertise something, every I haven't hung up the phone without being called ma'am. Ma'am. <laughs> yeah. It's ma'am. ma'am. I'm Ernie. For those wondering, I'm Ernie. The name's already uh, here, Ernie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, now we need a Bert. Now we need a Bert. Oh, who can be Bert? Real shit can be the rubber ducky. <laughs> He kind of he kind of looks like Bart Simpson. Out of you out don't of want to face me, trust me. <laughs> We're just fucking with you. Don't get I'm don't take it with... personal. Uh, no, no, no. It's all good. No, it's all good. Oh, uh, but yeah, I, even that shocked me about the Ravens having the older stadium. Yeah, because I knew we were kind of new because we opened back in 2001 after we tore down, we demolished Three Rivers. And then before, if you want really want to go back in time, is Forbes how was Field. The, how was, how was, uh, have you ever been to a game at a Three Rivers Stadium? No, I was fucking six when they demolished it. Uh, I was only six okay. years old. I was just getting into soccer and NASCAR at the time. Ah, okay. Cool. Jeff Gordon. Hey, at least, hey, I'm just happy. Dale USA Jr. I'm just happy USA is going to pe- compete for Qatar. Too bad Qatar. I know. But I, too Tap bad that I, link, Camel. I want to see if you're wearing them same black McDonald's. You let him talk. No, it's okay. Yeah, and besides, hey, Camel Toes, um, what happened with Cam Newton coming back, you know? I honestly thought you guys were going to beat us. Surprisingly. Boy, did you disappoint me. Cam. What happened that game? Yeah, what happened that game? No, like I was surprised you guys beat them. Like you I know, didn't watch the game or anything, so that's why I'm asking. So let me tell you something. One thing to know about being a Dolphin fan is that when ye- when there's a storyline within a game, we are always victims of a game in which a comeback story or a Let's, or how can I put it? Say X player is going to play for this team, and then that X player is a superstar. Miami Dolphins are the are the the guinea pigs when it comes to these. When it well, comes I want to ask you a players. question. Yeah. I want to thank you for Mika Fitzpatrick. Mika Fitzpatrick has fallen off though since we've actually got him. The first year he did great, but what did you guys draft for that pick that we gave you? Um, I think I forgot. Oh, 
do you know? I forgot. Do you know? I, no, I don't know. That's why I'm asking I you. We, I think we got. Wow. I can't believe I forgot about. I don't know. We but, gave you a first round pick for him. I think it was like 23rd overall or something. Yeah. And was it was it two draft picks ago? Or yeah, well, the, now he's in his second year, so yeah, it would have been two seasons ago. It would have been the year that um, that Eric went to that Ravens game. Yeah, twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen, twenty twenty season, right? Yeah, the two year the when we had Duck Hodges starting. Yeah, Duck Hodges and Mason Rudolph. Okay. I just was curious. Didn't you draft the receiver? I want to say you drafted I the receiver. I think. Um, give me a moment. I'm trying to find it. Oh, that makes no sense. Look at. I'm trying to figure. Is it the 2000? Would it, would it have been the 2019, 2000? 20 or the 2020 2021 no the one the first one you said okay the 2019 all right give me a moment um i think christian wilkins i'm not sure or Where the hell's that defensive end or how do you work out for you all oh he's fantastic he's one of my favorite players on the team fucking love this guy he's he was a, at in fact i think he was the guy that did the flip i think he was the guy that did that had his flip um discounted oh what was in that one game just recently cam well i'm gonna Again. switch out my phone and i'll be sitting right here waiting for you clown but i'm, I'm asking Wait, dolphin yeah. nation an, an actual question right now and uh, so, how did you feel when we got Mika? Beyond, to be honest with you, Mika want, Mika was one of the many players that wanted out of the wanted out of the Dolphins, and I mean, so be it. And I mean, better luck to him. He was going to the Steelers, a more consistent organization, and at that time, many other players. Most of which who were part of the Miami Miracle wanted to wanted out of Miami Dolphins and weren't digging the direction of tanking for stuff. And I mean that's fine, but I like what we we've been collecting lately. And even though we've went on a seven game losing streak, we've uh, at after our win against the Patriots, we're starting to rise back. Earlier, you said you don't respond to typers at Gooch. Oh, he's talking about real oh, shit. Oh, no, no, no. Camel, you're not a typer. See? See, I know the difference between a typer and a, and a clown. Barton yeah. and Bailey. Now, let me switch out my phone here because my phone's on 15%. And I don't want it to die. So you have an excuse for real shit left because I scared him off. Nope. Watch this. I'll be here until Eric says I'm going to bed. I'll finish it off. Eric. But to be, let me just hold. But don't run, Camel. Mark Simpson. Oh, you don't want to get smacked the fuck down, do you, fat boy? Oh, uh, Foxman. Foxman's live. His, eye, his eyes are barely open. Dude, who the fuck uh, cares? No one cares. About fucking, no one cares uh, about that fucking racist yeah. piece of shit. He ain't welcome over here. He Which can do whatever the fuck he wants. Fox, no, man, he's Fox racist man. too. Oh, another. Yeah, he's another racist. Oh, you man. mean that guy? Hey, you mean that guy, man? Fuck you. Shit, <laughs> man. And I know, I know, fucking Dolphin Nation hates Donald Trump and all that. But if uh, we would have built a wall, like. All against these fucking uh, retards, we would have fucking. The TTC oh, I know we all still been alive. Oh, I know we. Oh, I, yeah, I know we all. You, we all have made memes like that. Build the wall and make insert. Yep. Well, I'm not TTC, so no, I yeah, don't want yeah, anybody bashing me. But I was an. I'm an audience, and I was an audience. Long Campbell. Twenty twenty one. 
What's with these Vask Tech comments? I know, like, it's weird. They're bots, I guess. Oh, like, shit's annoying. <laughs> What's a Vask Tech? No, it's some random ass accounts keep commenting that shit. Somebody blocked that. Someone so, hide that. Steeler, yeah, so you guys gave us a first, a fifth, and a 2021 sixth for us. Right. So I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what would the I can't believe I don't know what the slots were. Twenty twenty. Okay, so it was a twenty twenty fourth round pick. Okay, so Solomon Kindley was one of them. All right. Oh, you're getting called out here. The other one was either U University of Massachusetts's offensive tackle Larnell Coleman and Cincinnati running back Jared Dokes. And for a first and fifth oh first and fifth. Oh round. damn. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I think I know who he's referring to there. I don't know, Brandon Rogers. What's it look like being how do you feel being uh NFC West idiot, huh? Smack him down. I got your back if they come in here and try to tag team you, I'll smack one down too. I do it all yeah. the time. It's very ding, easy. Ding, ding. Let's go. Man, the link's pinned. Anybody can come in. As long as you're not any of those Rogers, You want to know what it's like being idiot of the AFCs? Well, let me tell you something. We know how to beat our top seat. We, we know how to beat our top seat on a regular basis. We know how to beat our top seed on a regular basis. And uh, so, I mean, congratulations, but congratulations on your win against the 49ers. What was that? Your Super Bowl? Our Super Bowl, we beat, so, hypothetically speaking, if we don't make the playoffs, our Super Bowl was against the Ravens, a real opponent. So, I mean, congratulations on your win last season against us. But I don't know why you're coming in rep I don't know why you're coming in on me with that uh repping Seahawks pride when the next time we face each other is not for another three years. Hey guys. Three years. In fact the one chunk I like I like how eight camel toes and uh, Billy Badass and Mike Mosh all type and all caps and shit. Oh, he's calling you out over here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit here and wait for him to tap the link. All right. Well, if he does come in, just remember no over talking, and I'll probably backstage everyone else. Sounds good to me. And this and it better not turn into a fucking drama community uh stream. Well, it won't. I mean, Brandon Rogers, I know you feel that way, but when I fucked your mom, it was like bazinga. Camel, where's your wife at? Is she is she in the spare bedroom or what, Camel? Guarantee you that's where she at. You're sitting there with your half burnt down fucking Christmas lights. Speaking of, sent if Sentinels I don't know where the Sentinel is, but if my Miami Dolphins make the playoffs, he needs to he, I bet if he come let me rephrase myself. If my Miami Dolphins make it to the playoffs, I want him and I to sing go into a string and sing that old song stalking your mom. <laughs> Damn, out of pocket with the mom stuff. Damn, why bring up moms for what do they do? It's a little out of no, no, pocket. No. 
No, no. So you know how the sentinel, the sentinel's voice. You know the sentinel's voice. Um, no, we can't trash talk, but you can't tap a link, huh? Is that right? Dolph Ignition can't trash talk. They are our league. You won't get in near I'm my. call body. ASPCA, Brandon Rogers on you. Oh, and you're supposed to down there. Okay, yeah, and you're D. Fucking cement block. Oh yeah, Brandon, and you're and you're D league. Got it. And you're and you're and you're the N league. Got it. Okay. I think I'm considering no league. ASPCA means Brandon. Oh, sorry, you first, real shit. No, ASPCA. He has his dog chain downstairs to a cement block, cinder block downstairs in the basement. Oh, so he couldn't get For pussy. Sure. He'd rather have no, a dog. No, he, he, commits, a he commits animal abuse to his animals. That's what he does. Just like so, Camel, uh, Camel sees his wife commit abuse to other men in the other bedroom. You know what I mean? It's just, it just happens that way. But neither one of the clowns will tap the link. Hey, bad. Bart Simpson, that's kind of weird, man. No, but, you know, but... Um, you know the sent, you know the Sentinel's like voice, right? It sounds like robotic. Corner sounds like this. Sounds hey. like this, bro. Bro, who the fuck are these bots, bro? Amanda Potter, who the fuck is that, dude? Oh, just hide them. Just fucking hide them. I don't know, but I feel like this is like. These are like uh, some CIA, FBI fu fuckers. Brandon so, Rogers, I never said I was N League, you fucking re idiot. And to be honest with you, I'll reveal, I'll reveal the truth about my channel one day. I'll reveal the truth about how my channel even became a channel one day. But I could tell you right now that second sentence it doesn't really fit. But uh, Brandon Rogers, why do you keep always having to bring, call me an idiot and a retard when you didn't even read my sentence about, when you didn't even read my <clears throat> sentence correctly? Also, um, I have a question for everybody in the stream. Those of you who think. Brandon Rogers sounds intimidating when he trash talks, say I. Or better yet, those of you who think Brandon Rogers sounds intimidating, period. Or scared. Anyone I'm, I'm staying neutral, bro. I fuck with Brandon. Yeah, me too. Okay, but does Okay, but does he sound like he sounds tired all the time? I mean, he's getting older. So what? I'm older than him. You guys should just box it out. Did you see Fight Club? More like... I mean, uh, time you would like to tap this link, I'll just yeah, but if I, yeah, but the thing is, if I be... Yeah, but if I face Brandon Rogers, I'll be another Ravens quarterback. <laughs> I'll be another Ravens player that Right, Ernie Stotner? Uh, oh, shit. Wait a second. So, going back to soccer, like, real shit, which which um, countries do you look at when you look at the World Cup? It's USA. Ah, nice. USA all the way. If it's not USA, though, what then what's the other country? Y'all know what it is for me. Dude, Mexico is a fucking that that whole squad of stat pattern players. I'm Slovak, so I would say yeah. Slovakia, but they're not good at soccer. <laughs> I would have thought. I gotta be honest. I thought there was like a hint of Swiss, Switzerland, or German inside you. No, nah, man, I'm I'm Slovak or Irish. Hundred percent Mexican over here. They're good at winning. Slovak's good at winter sports, not summer sports. All oh, right. Oh, yeah. Well, Qatar Qatar's World Cup is going to be held uh, the same. Well, so let's all see what's November. all nationalities right now. So mine's slow block. Eric, you said you're Mexican, right? Yeah. Mexican is not a nationality. Though. Well, so what it, is, it is. Take that back. It is. But I mean, okay. Nationalities where you city were born wise, at. I'm Mexican. I'm Mexican American because I was born here. 
Yeah. American American is your nationality then. Like me, yeah. pretty much. But, but ethnicity yeah, but, is Mexican. Yeah, but your culture would be you 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 would be from Slovak, for instance. That's where your ancestors come from. Oh, it's all Mexico. Oh, Here comes the answer. Oh, damn! Look at this comment. You bet. I'll take him. Dude, he's an idiot. Yes, I am. Hey, camel toes. What? What? He what cannot come up and tap a link. That's what's also, funny. He can sit back there and type and type and type and type. Tap the link, camel. Also got Spanish in me. Oh, you do? Oh, what? The, like? Yep. Camel oh, camel my mom. Him. Camel got dirt ball, alcoholism, everything involved in him. Wife cheating on him, banging other white men. Yeah. He has all kinds of syndromes. He got retarded syndrome inside of him. Talk about retarded. My mom's side from my uh, my mom's side, my uh, grandpa, uh, he was Spanish. Yeah, but like what? Yeah, but one Spanish country. Are we Spain. talking? Spain? Oh, actual Spain. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. All right. Well, I'm. There's parts of me that are English, parts of me that are French, and definitely a huge chunk of me Australian. 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 Cool. Yeah. To bed we kind of suck. Damn. Look at this. Eric, I'm, Eric, I'm gonna ask you one last time to either let him tell that. him to tap the link and be a man, or act it's like a end. little pussy bitch and hide behind the keyboard. I'm gonna ask it's you too. Tap the it's link. Pinned. Post it for Post it one more time so you can see it. Camel. Eric's gonna post it for you so that way you can see it. You blind bat bitch. Tap it's it. Come on pinned. in here and let's discuss. I Come on, you dirt ball. Come on, eight camel toes. Oh, he he won't. He knows better. He knows way better. He'll come in here. Oh, hey, camel toes. What you Damn. think of Joe Brady? Are you happy Joe Brady's fired? Are you happy for Joe Brady's departure? I mean, I got to be honest with you. I'm Matt Rule needs to go. Come on, Camel. We waiting on you. Brandon Rogers, I'll trash talk you when we face each when our teams face each other again. And when they do, we're kicking that ass. Damn. I say to you. Imagine they both come in. It'll be a two versus two the, battle. Imagine that. And by the time you fucking – and by the time your team well, faces us, it better not be Russell Wilson for your sake. Waiting. <laughs> so, what's that? Jeopardy clock. Do, 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 do. Come on. Do, 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 do. And then they ring the buzzer. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, come face this daily double. Damn. Brandon, um, you can talk and chat or you can tap a link. We're about to hit 1.30 in the morning. How long you want to keep dragging this out for? Hold it's on. Let me, go get some oh, let me go get some coffee because Brandon Rogers usually sounds so tired when he trash talks. Got to make sure he... He ain't got no trash talk. He ain't got, neither one of these clowns got trash talk left in him. Hey, Lois, tienes que calmar tú, man. Huh? Oh, oh, you just need to chill out, dude, sometimes. It's all good. Dude, why do you look like a fucking rot, rotten banana that just got split across the fucking road? Damn, Lois, man. I don't care what time it is over there, Brandon. Tap the link. Oh, and fuck Donald Trump. Oh, no. Nah, I can't. Nah, nah. Why not? Nah, nah. Why not? Nah. No. Why not? No. You don't even, you don't need to like, you don't need to, I'm not asking you to like Joe Biden. Nah, nah, it's cool. I'm, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just trying to put that uh, Consuela voice and shit. But it is what it is. No, no. It's a, no, no, it's a Jeopardy no, joke. No, no. No, it's called a Jeopardy. No, have you ever watched Jeopardy? There's a thing called a Daily Double. Aaron Rodgers. Damn. Sentinel, buddy. You agree? 
So, thank you for agreeing with uh, the thing we had scheduled. My Dolphins make it to the playoffs. We're going into a random string. We're singing that Ray William Johnson song, Stalking Your Mom. I'll be Ray, I'll sing Ray William Johnson's part. But yeah. But yeah, I'll... So anybody backstage yet, Eric? What if I'm not? a Biden supporter? No. Yeah, so what if I'm a Biden supporter? Yeah, At least I didn't not. vote for Donald Trump. I'll give him another five I'll minutes. I'll take that to my grave pridely. And I'll take anybody that to my grave with come pride. Come battle me. Come battle me. Camel. I will proudly take to my grave with pride that I have never voted for Donald Trump. Camel, we can make this a quick battle, too. We can make it like a minute apiece. And you can. Real quick. Smack the shit out of you. I love smacking the shit out of a dirt ball like you, faggot. He's like he's counting from space backwards and shit. Like, did it take? Oh wow, it took you. It took. Oh, hold on for a second. Let me just count. Let me just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Just counting. Oh, uh, hold on. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14. Wow, it took 14 fucking trash talking. Co it took you like 14 trash talking comments to finally figure that out. And you called me a retard? <laughs> yeah, okay. That's all they do. That's hey, all they got one. So, Dolphinition, you got any updates on uh, the 445 guy? Or Tyson? Oh, um, are you talking? To, are you which guy? The EDP or some? Yeah, him. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, let me check. Is he actually going to jail? Damn! Oh my god. We're trying. We're trying. Well, right now he's currently battling. <laughs> but Eric, I don't see how you think that shit's funny when you know the man ain't gonna tap the link and battle me. So there's, there's nothing hysterical cool about. The only thing hysterical about this man is he's been wearing the same pair of McDonald's pants with no underwear underneath them for fucking two years straight. <laughs> okay, so he found, out, he found out EDP's third phone. Oh, shit, for real? Yeah, but he's not in jail, but he's not in jail yet. In fact, I don't think he's going to go to jail anytime soon because... Well, that fucking uh, uh, Felipe B is a bitch, dude. He's a clickbaiter. Jesus. Look at this comment. Yeah, of course they're smart, because but they use their smarts in devious, disgusting ways. The fuck? He's not even that decent. They're not even that decent human beings. They're just not decent. Nobody's decent. It's I mean, it's part of the. Planet. And that's the funny thing about these Trumps. And that's the funny thing about these Trump supporters. They're su they're such fucking snowflakes. When you make fun of, when you make fun of ah. Trump, the only defense they got is making fun of their, making fun of those that oppose Trump. I mean, that's not that's not being a snowflake. That's but they've just... never, but they've never said one thing that he actually accomplished. They never said one thing they act. I mean, that's not, that's not being a snowflake. Being a snowflake is being caught in a no, but every time. Yeah, like but look at this Brandon Rogers. He's going, now he's going into, now he's taking his trash talk into political. Brandon place. Rogers has never I seen what pussy looks like naked, let alone know what politics is. Yeah, okay? exactly. He doesn't even know what pussy looks like. Don't know what it smells like. Don't know what it tastes like. And he's over here talking politics. Shut up, Brandon. You look like Opie Taylor. In fact, Brandon, why don't you put your mask on? Nobody wants to hear you. <laughs> actually, yeah, Brandon, come on up actually, here, Brandon. Actually, show yourself on camera with a mask on. You look much better. You'll get more bitches that way. I just want someone to come up here so I can smack them around with them. KPG. Bring your CPAP machine up and let's go. Four twelve. Art Simpson, whatever your name is, relax. Brandon Rogers, bring your Seahawks up. Bring your Seahawks next season. 
against my Dolphins next season. So you can. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on for a moment. Oh, the Seahawks. We already know you're scared of me, clown. So you oh, ain't got to talk to me. We oh, already shit. know you look like a rundown version of fucking lead singer from Slipknot. All right. Oh shit! The Seahawks are four to? and seven, and we're you like bagging. what? We're like six. Damn, years. Lois, you're you're always oh, yeah. mad. Why don't you turn your camera off, fat boy? Oh, I guess that's not Kill gonna happen. Yourself. Why you like me, bro? So Brandon Rogers, you look I like, like a how you. Guy. Nah, bro, okay. you don't like me. Brandon Rogers, I like how you think you know me backwards and forwards using looking at my videos. Um, in some of my earliest videos, I said I had a girl. I I have mentioned I had a girlfriend. I had mentioned I had a girlfriend, but I know the next thing you're gonna say is, of course you're, of course he had a girlfriend, but dumped, but he couldn't hang, hand with that. If you ever have a girlfriend, don't even fucking brag about her on the internet. <laughs> I already said it on one of my vid. No, I already mentioned it on some of my videos. Just this Brandon Rogers dude doesn't fucking know. We'll wait for you to tap the link, Camel. Anytime now. <laughs> Real shit, I, I think I know what they're doing. Real shit, I think I know what they're doing. They're just gonna play this. They're gonna play this game all night. Well, you know what? Should we do like a timer? Yeah, I'm gonna give them five minutes and I'm out. All right. Hold they on. got until, they got until one forty. They got until one forty two. Should we give them five or should we give them? All right. Tell me when to start the timer. Now. Okay. Well, I still got about twenty more minutes before I have to get up on out of here. I still got twenty minutes left. Five minutes. That's like singing the Jeopardy song ten times. The link's pinned, KPG. If you want to tap it, I Brandon Rogers it. are so fucking boring at trash. See, you're one of those people that you trash talk more effectively when you're typing. And I'm not going to make fun of you for that. I get it. I get it. Okay? I, I'm more effective when I type when I trash. My trash talking is a bit more effective when I type too. Because I gather thoughts and shit. But I'm telling you. You're so boring. When you trash talk live. <clears throat> just like your Seahawks are so boring to watch because they just suck. See, this is what Cam wants me to do. He wants me. Cam wants me to sit here and wait, wait. <clears throat> See, I gave him a time limit. Eric, you need to step up and say he needs to join by a certain time. And if he doesn't, he's a bitch. Oh, and by the way, Brandon Rogers, if you if you're a if you're a homer, uh, for college football, the Hurricanes are gonna spank Washington. He's a he's a Minnesota Gophers fan. Oh, Minnesota Gophers? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, fuck they that. fucking whooped okay, us well, at the end of the season. Okay, well, fuck that boat. You hear me? Fuck that boat. Fuck that boat. Speaking of oh, college, I don't know out. why. I don't know why, but I have a weird feeling, and I know you might call me stupid. I know the since I know Cincinnati might get blown out, but I'm picking Cincinnati over Bama. I just had that gut feeling. KPG, it's we're de we're at, we're now up to three minutes. He says four one gay. I'll tap the link. Come on, bitch. Get up in this motherfucker. I'll wait ten. I'll wait ten minutes. I'm wait, ending like, the no, stream no, no, no. at two. It's one thirty nine. It's one thirty nine yep. right now, and I'm ending sense. this at yeah. two. At two two a.m. I'm I'm calling it a night. I might watch Family Guy later on. So I need to know. Two o'clock. Sounds good to me. So these clowns ain't in here by uh, 10 till. They ain't showing up. I've never seen KPG. Do you know who KPG is? Or Yeah, That's... I know who he is. Yeah, I know 100% who he is. Well, I'm not going to reveal to you guys. Believe me, I'll smack the shit out of him too. I know all What's these his people. Team? Just want to know what his team is. He's Dallas. Oh, okay. Cow, cowboys. That's kind of tough. That's going to be tricky, but I'll do my best. But this dolphin fan will do his best. 
I'm not running. I'm going to stay the whole time now. It's sad, though. You guys got to hide out, hide out, and wait. And then you were going to wait. And then I know what they were going to say. Oh, well, they won because I ran. Nope. Nip. Hey, real C, I'm going to a football game in London. I'm going to Seattle Rams. Hey, you know what? I mean, if they say if they want to take this W, they'll only take this W in the battle. This but little 17 year old is going to talk war. great. I'm telling you right now. He looks like a rundown fucking corn version of the fucking the lead singer of corn back in the fucking when he was like 17. <laughs> this fucking piece of trash up here. He talks, he speaks, and he puts himself back on mute. He'll speak and then puts himself back on mute. Now, I'm see what I mean? Like, watch. He'll speak. I'm torn to you. Should I, now, I, back love on mute. you. I love you making fun of me. That's funny. And then go back on mute. There you go. Damn. But hey, one thing. Hey, as much hey, we can fight each other. But one thing we can all agree: go USA men's soccer team. Yes, sir. Not me. Not me. Sorry. He's, well, he's rooting for Mexico. Mexico played USA. He's like Mexico. Mexico got smacked, dude, like three times in a row. But don't okay, worry. Okay, I don't need to hear it for the fiftieth time. No worries, you'll still make it to Qatar. That's yeah, I feel like, yeah, Ernie. it's possible. I mean, yeah. Eric, who, Ernie, Eric, who are you rooting for? Mexico oh, versus USA oh, for yeah, the World I, Cup. Who Mexico. you got? Mexico. Yeah, for, USA. And go for Where Mexico. are you living at, though? Yeah, but my heritage, though. <laughs> I got to <laughs> I make fun of people in my heritage. It's funny. Okay, I'll. I guess I shouldn't really. I guess I shouldn't really say. Oh, the timer went off for five minutes. So wait, they still got another. They still got another ten. Okay, I'm not gonna make fun. I'm not gonna hold them accountable for that because I mean, in the Olympics, when Australia plays the USA, I kind of secretly. I don't fuck with the women's soccer team, though. I just can't fuck with them. I've never, I've never fucked with the women's soccer team. Never. Hello, Brandon might have to join. You see that? If Brandon well, joins, you might start getting, well, you might. I'm gonna let you battle him first. I'm only waiting on Camel, but if, if he starts getting you, then I'll I'll take care of it. You how and you, Brandon, if Brandon joins. How do you feel about the U.S. men's soccer uh, Dolphin mission? I'm really confident, but I mean, I fuck with the I fuck with the women's soccer team. Who do you think the trash talk battle Dolphin mission? You or Brandon Rogers? The problem is we got to start winning games, away games, too, because it's what's, uh, like, it's what's kind of holding us back a little bit. I'm waiting. Do you know why it's called the Cowboys? It's I love an to see a two versus two. You know why they call it the Cowboys? Because it's an acronym. It stands for Company Only Once. Big overall yearly sales. That's why I took it to. Damn, now he's got you. Damn. Wait, why are you saying damn? He's used that. He's used that same fucking. This guy's used that same shit before. Damn. Broken bro. record, motherfucker. Wait, who's trying Brandon, to... you're not even fucking... Brandon, nobody thinks you're that interesting anyway. All you do is just talk like this, and uh, I just... I, I think the Seahawks are going to win, and I'm rooting for the... I, 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 I mean, if the Seahawks don't win, that's fine. I just want to see the Steelers lose, because the Steelers losing definitely hurts hurts us somehow, some way. And look at me and my red hair. <laughs> Shut up, Dolph Ignition. Gosh, you're such an idiot. <laughs> I'm still waiting. Nobody's tapping a link. You know what, KPG? You're right. In fact, Brandon's more entertaining than watching your Cowboys play. I'll give him that. Time's a ticking. Time's ticking. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. They're going to come in in the last 
they're gonna come in at the last second, and then I've already been so tired. I'm gonna go oh, watch Family Guy, guys. I catch you guys later. What's yep. y'all? What's our record? Gonna be a different story next season. In He's fact, out. wait a second. Oh no, we don't take on the eight. In fact, we no. Real we shit. Don't... Shut up. Fucking dope. That looks pretty fucking dope. brand new. This is yeah. I got this a few days hey, ago. We, we are in the. Hat. We are still technically in the playoff hunt. We are still in the playoff hunt, actually. And we just collected five. We took an L at tonight. Six. We are currently six and seven. Um, we beat the Patriots, collected a seven losing streak, seven losing streak, but then got back starting from the Texans on a five game winning streak before we now enter this bye week, which by the way is the final bye week of the season. Oh, now this burn bar comes in and he says the ghost of Barbara's diaper. I'm not going to do nothing. I mean, hey, burn, burn bar's cool with me, and he used to troll me sometimes. Uh, I was about to say. He'd troll, he troll anybody, though. He, he's a funny troll. He talks shit to anybody. To be honest, Brandon Rogers, this chat, this panel was going to end sometime soon. We're just making your night. We're just making your night. I'm just a grown man. I'll sit here and just wait. I waited the whole time to battle any one of y'all. You look where y'all are at. <clears throat> I waited the whole time, and I still got 10 more minutes, less than that. When it, once it gets to five tail, then I might leave because there's no reason to argue for the last five minutes. So you got three minutes now, pretty much, because you know an argument won't last longer than ten. But what if they come in as soon as you leave before I end this? What do you want me yeah, to do? I mean, Wait, fucking uh, one 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 fifty nine? What are you talking about? Yo, ghost. Yo, ghost. Don't you have? Do you have work tomorrow, ghost? Yeah, I do. Uh yeah. So I know what they're gonna do. Yeah, tell them they got now to join. If not, then. That's it. You got to shut it down, bro. As a matter of fact, I actually went to the Dolphins, at, the Ravens at Dolphins game. Do you have evidence? What do you want me? What do you want to do, Eric? Jump, jump in with one fifty nine left on the clock, and then they come in, and then you're up till fucking three in the morning. I mean, well, they could they could take it elsewhere. I'm sure somebody will else will go live. KPG, come on, dude. Every. Come on, to dude. turn the ball really over. <laughs> Come turn on, dude. Over. You're just a fucking copycat. You're such a fucking copycat. But I guess since we can... But we too can play at that game. So how's Dak Bortles doing? How's Dak Bortles doing? Hey, Burn Bar, tell your woman, oh, wait, you ain't got one, to make hey. you some tortilla chips and some Ewok? fucking hot sauce. How's that Ewok... You got on there doing. Mike Moss just sent trash? me an email that he got a new channel. Trash talk Why am I even trash talking a cow Cowboys, man? We don't even face these guys for another two for two. So more, apparently that's Moss's new channel now. Oh true oh, freedom and health. Hey look, you I, I respect truth, freedom and health, but I'm just saying going the route. Going Donald Trump's route's not the way to go. Hey, Camel Toes, I'm not the perfect example when it comes to... Okay, hey, Camel Toes, every time I go into a stream, I always look at the chat. I'm not paying attention at all. Problem is, is y'all are talking trash, saying y'all can come up here and whoop my ass, and none one of y'all can tell... Step fucking toes up here. Brandon stepped toes up here and he ran off real quick. We know what's up, Camel. I own you. Literally, I've owned you since day when I joined YouTube. Raider Cousin, I've owned you. I own every single one of you pretty much, okay? There's a few of you all that get me sometimes, like Gamble every once in a while. That's about it. Burn Bar, you just sit in there and type. That's fine. That doesn't bother me. 
One day I might just sit back and type with you. We can have a typing battle if you want to. We can just I'll set up my typewriter and we can just start typing away. <laughs> get it all, get them going and shit, man. <laughs> type out book reports and shit. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, we I got a typewriter, bro. We can just we have to put the old ink in there and everything, dude. We can just type up a fucking story. KPG, you see Pat Machine having bitch, you fat slob motherfucking faggot. It sits on your couch. It takes you 10 minutes just to roll off the couch. Get your fat ass up here. Last time I'm going to ask. There's nine minutes left until the stream ends. Who got the guts? He does have a job. Burnbar, what is your job? Typewriting? Is that must be you must be a good typewriter, man. I'll tell you what, I see you in all the chat typing around. Never can show your face though. That's amazing to me. Look how look how quick he's quick at typing. Look how fast he's look at that. Bam. Yeah. New sentence. Bam. 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 New sentence. Boom, he brought a troll in with him too. Like it's amazing. I don't free loot off no one, Burn Bar. See, this is just, it just gets boring. They have nothing to say because so I can't say it to my face. I'll just sit here and wait. Eight minutes. Keep highlighting them, Eric. You're just as bad right now. You're the reason. You're the reason why I'm seeing it because you keep highlighting it. But I'm not By sure. way, with with this comment, like you shouldn't have said that shit the other night because you never know who's lurking and people are going to use it against you. Damn, but tonight, though, even though I'm upset, you know, my team lost. We shit the bed. Um, yeah. Same bullshit that, that we've been doing over and over again. But I do appreciate everybody that came on the panel and the chat, too. It was it was entertaining for us, to say the least. So appreciate yeah. everybody that came on the panel and the live chat. Shout yep. out to all of y'all. All of y'all. Hey. Hey, just so you know, um, if, it makes you feel, if you guys makes you feel any better, um, I know it sucks losing to the team that ended the Lions losing streak, but at least you didn't lose. But hey, at least you didn't lose to the Jaguars. <clears throat> yeah. As far as the Bills... And as far as the Bills beating the Patriots, well, you kind of yeah, need help from the Dolphins. You kind of need help from the Dolphins if you want to go far without the Patriots in your way. And we offered the hand, and they were like, get the fuck out. We got that. How about instead we fuck you guys and your quarterback up, and we'll take it from here. And this is where we are right now. Congratulations, Patriots. We'll see y'all in week 18. Mac Jones, man. He didn't do shit Monday night, but yeah, his team won. I'm going to go ahead and say this right now. Mac Jones is a top class quarterback with a zero playing for a zero class fan base. I actually like Mac Jones. I think he could be a good quarterback. Oh, I think he's already shown this year that he's going to be that he's a great quarterback and go listen then go Brandon 
Cheers, my brother. Cheers, bro. Cheers, my man. What do you think about that Rod Woodson jersey I unboxed last night? Got it for a good deal thanks to Cyber Monday. It was nice, wow. dude. It was pretty dope. Mitchell and S and everything. Official Mitchell and S jersey. I've actually gotten beaten up by paid. I've actually gotten into fights with Patriots fans in the past. How about I you? live around about- Patriots fans. Yo, Brandon Rogers. How about you? How about you try that same energy uh, at with 49ers? Better hurry and pop that link. We got four more minutes. Raiders fans, huh? Come on, guys. You got four more minutes. Where you at? Damn, I was on Jordan's panel last night briefly. Oh, Brandon Rogers, I knew you were a type. Yeah, dude. I've showed my jerseys. Don't even play around, Burnbar, you clown. Yeah, yeah, I've seen his jerseys. I'm not like Eric and don't have enough, probably enough money to afford as much jerseys as you buy, Eric, because you probably buy a new jersey every fucking week. I wish, but I got, I've been collecting over the years, and it's kind of been a hobby of mine. I got like 15 Steeler jerseys. You probably got like 30 or 40. Hey, don't make fun of Jay. Hey, come on. Don't make fun of Jay Dog like that. He's pro. He is. He's all. Wait. Tomorrow, you're, you're Eric. I want like you to, he's not ahead in life. <laughs> That's not want, cool, man. Don't make I want fun you to of count your jerseys tomorrow, Eric. I want you to count and see how many jerseys you own. Jay Dog's a Saints fan, right? Or is Yeah, Jordan's a Saints yeah, fan. Don't make, yeah, don't make fun of my man J Dog like like that. Why are you Must comparing be... his life more ahead than me like it's a insult, man? No, I don't. No 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 no. I'm talking about no, I'm talking about um KPG's comment. Yo, Jordan though, like he likes to the stuff he does. Um, like he wants to make it all about himself or he wants all the attention and it's gone to a point where me and several other people I'm sure got sick of. So that's why I don't let him on my panels. I will let him in the comments, but I wouldn't let him tap the link. Uh, I mean, I'm all right. I'm all right with you. I'm all right with Jay Dog. I mean, he yeah, wanted- he just needs to chill out. He needs to like he takes this way too seriously. Oh yeah, I know. He's ta- he's taught he's actually had a uh, Discord chats with me. Discord chats with me. All right, one more minute. Matt Brandon, twenty twenty. Yeah, and they stuck each other off behind the bleacher seats. You didn't know that? Yo, speaking of, before we depart this panel, I just have one quick question. Now, let's say you there's a lot. Now, I understand two teaming is a cardinal sin in these parts. But let's say you've got a family member or a friend or a neighbor who played who plays for a different team than the team you rep. Is that acceptable if you cheer for No, hard? you just rep one team and that's it. Yeah, that's it. <sighs> We're talking okay. shit because I own a shirt of another team and I wear it I wore it one time and I took a picture <sighs> with it on. And they consider that me repping that team, which I don't. And that's it's Everybody. just pathetic. But yeah, uh, they caught me on that because it's on my Facebook. It's just the regular t shirt. But you should have taken it down because, you know, anything that people see are going to use it against you. You know obviously, how this works yeah. now. You should know how know this how, works yeah, by I now. I know how it works now, obviously. Yeah. It's just oh, my childish, gosh. Man. I'm so done with Brandon Rogers. All right, this anybody. Before you report this panel, so fucking corny. Anybody yeah, want to okay, take corny, over? Cringe. Anybody want to go live? Because I got to get up on that here. Okay, nah, I'll let you get going. 
So anybody that wants to go live, go ahead, drop your link. Whoever wants to go live, say tell, say hey, come over here. I'll go live. So yeah. Shit. What time do you have to wake up tomorrow? In like four hours. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I better let. Yeah, we better let you get going. Sorry about the loss, though. But Demer but rest in peace, Demarius Thomas. Rest in peace. Moment of silence. So anybody wants to take this over, Camel, if you want to go live, or anybody, go ahead, take the audience with you, because I'm, I'm about to knock the fuck out. All right, man, you take it easy, both y'all. All right, and shout out to everybody, man, that I'll came through. Shit. Yeah, I'll let Whether real it's shit. in the panel or the panel mm -hmm. or the live chat, shout out to everybody. Appreciate, thank you to everybody. Appreciate all of y'all, and Hope to see y'all soon. So, yeah, this is the ghost of Ernie Stana here checking on out. You guys take care, and I'm out. Later, bro. Later.